Hi, welcome all of you. This is Infrastructure as a Service, Microsoft Azure 70-533 exam and my name is Ashish. Well, uh, yes, I apologize for uploading this video after a couple of weeks. I was tied up with some other things, but now I have made a promise of this thing that I will post the videos at a constant speed and a constant days constant intervals so that all of you guys are in touch with the topics around 70-533 so without wasting any more time let's start with this video in the previous video I showed you some of the application settings of the Azure web app as of now you guys are aware how to create an Azure web app so now this web app has been created and if you will scroll down and click on application settings you will see the application settings pops out of the web app that you just created okay finally we have the settings appear well I apologize for the I think it's Azure portal that is acting weird today or it's my internet connection Let me just pause that and come back when the settings finally come up. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have finally got this uh, setting. This is the application settings. I showed you the remote debugging and everything else, the previous videos. So this is the application settings that you are seeing. You would see the following uh, setting which says website note default version is 6.9.1. Let's say you want to add another setting. So you have the ability to override the security key and the any API that you have mentioned in the web.config file. So if you will make a change here, any change here and define a specific value and make it a slot setting. By slot setting means that it is a slot specific setting. If you're doing it on a production slot, it will stick to the slot. And if you will do it on a staging slot, the setting will stick to the staging slot. If you will do a swap of the slots, then this setting would not be transferred to the staging slot and vice versa. So this is and any change you make here makes a change automatically to the uh, web.config file at the back end. So this is the, the mechanism the portal has given you to make changes from the portal to override the changes which are there in the web.config file. If you will scroll down a bit, you would uh, also see the default documents and the connection string. Let's say you have a SQL database at the back end or any pass structure like MySQL, custom, any custom SQL or SQL Server or SQL Azure. The, when you will create a SQL Server or when you will create a storage account, you get a connection string from your uh, storage guy or from your SQL guy. You can mention the connection strings here and the value here. You can also add a new connection string. As I told you, these settings will override the settings that you make in the web.config file. Under that, we see default documents. It's the sequence in which your web.config file reads the information from the portal default.html, default.zip. You want add a new document you want to give a specific add a new document here you want to give a specific uh, content in that document you can do it here you don't have to make the changes in the web.config file okay so if you see the handler mapping by handler mapping you mean uh, you must be familiar with IIS let's say you mention a particular file extension let's say you say PHP engine you might particular file extension let's say you mentioned .html and then you enter a script processor you share a path of any PHP script that will process the particular file extension pages using that particular engine you do it here you do that in the web.config file when you host a web app on the IIS server okay then you have the uh, virtual uh, virtual directory as well let's say you have you mention let's say you have a site called a dot local and you have that web code config file the pages in the default on the root let's say you make a virtual directory you make a virtual directory let's say slash block and then you enter a physical path it means that your 
this virtual directory can be located onto the same physical path under which your site is there let's like say site.www root or you can add a sub path that will be different from your site directory root path so it can be within the root of your website but holds a different path altogether any changes you make in this virtual directory or virtual application would not touch your main parent root path and the site content which is under web.config file so this is all what we have in the application settings for web apps hope you have had a good time watching this video i'll see you in the next video all the rest